Weekend in town for all of you who love a Christmas story. Starting tonight through Sunday at the Cleveland Public Auditorium, Ralphie Comes Home. That's the event that will feature the cast of the movie along with, obviously, Ralphie himself, Peter Billingsley. And it's all in celebration of the film's 40th anniversary. Wow. Uh, now, Peter says the memories of filming here in Cleveland, he said they're so strong. They have to be, and they have to be reinforced when he sees old footage behind the scenes like we shared in the first half hour earlier today. We caught up with, uh, he caught up with our very own Mike Polk Jr. at the venue to remember some of those highlights. Take a look. Mr. Billingsley, it's a thrill. Thank you. Welcome to Cleveland, sir. Yeah, thank you. Great to be back. It is crazy, obviously, the mania that has followed this movie. Yeah. And the obsession with it. I mean, in a way, you guys have the same following as like the insane clown posse with juggalos, but you have it with Christmas, I guess, jingalos, we would say, maybe? That might be more appropriate. I have some rapid fire questions for you. Is it true that director Bob Clark made a cameo in the film and when? It is true. It's when uh, the old man gets the major award. Hey, Park, what is that? It's a, it's a major award. Did you really say the F word or did you say fudge? I said the F word. Nice. Uh, fudge. Only I didn't say fudge. How were the Bumpus Hounds to work with? Uh, they were kept in cages. We were told they might be a little dangerous. It was the 80s. <laughs> Explain how the tongue on the flagpole scene works. You have a real flagpole, then you put a fake pole over it. That fake pole has a small hole with a hose that is sucking air. So the tongue goes on and it sucks it right in and then you pull it back and looks real. Brilliant. What about all the kids who didn't have that mechanism who tried it? Do you ever feel bad about that? I do, yeah, because it's legit. It, yeah. it works. Yeah. How many Red Rider rifles do you currently own? You own one. I do, from the movie. From the movie, you own yes. that one. Oh my god, I shot my eye out. Your coolest prop from the movie, I assume. I have the original bunny suit, the only one. Oh, wow. I keep it in a vault. And it is. does it fit? What do you think? <laughs> what was your least favorite scene to shoot? Well, the, the most challenging one was the shoot your eye out because I was in pajamas outside in Cleveland in yeah. January, and that's not a good thing to do. It's Can you fake swear as well as Darren McGavin? Nobody can fix it as well as Darren McCann. Yeah. Ralphie's father is never named, as you know. He's just referred to as the old man. That's right. But you guys probably said a name on set. I think the rumor was Frank. Frank? There Christmas Story's dad yeah. name revealed finally. Well, we are thrilled to have you back home in Cleveland. Tell people what they can see this weekend. It's a celebration of A Christmas Story and Cleveland. It's a partnership with the Greater Cleveland Film Commission, celebrating the 40th anniversary of the movie. Public auditorium for meet and greets, photo ops, and just a way to connect with the fans. Well, welcome home. Appreciate it. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. Thank you. Merry time. Christmas. Oh, the, the memories. You know what else so I was cool. reading that was interesting? I think it was... Um, Jack Nicholson was up for the role of the father. Really? He didn't True. Get it. Yeah, I heard that. I mean, can you imagine how different trivia. it would be? Yeah, it would be. It'd be I, I, honestly, how about one of the rare roles where I actually think that they cast better when they didn't go with Jack Nicholson? He was yeah. very. Yeah. Peter Billings was very giving with his time. Very neat event. Cool fundraiser for the Cleveland for the Cleveland Film Commission. And it's important that people go out and support it because it helps bring filmings like that to Cleveland. You know, right, yeah. the, the Cleveland Film Commission is they're in charge of helping get work like this here. Oh, by the way, this is me. I look just like the bully from the Christmas story growing up, as you can see there. Wow, that's there is an amazing you. resemblance. That's Mike. me on the right. And then that's the Christmas bully on the uh, Christmas story bully. And his name is uh, name is Zach Ward, very talented actor. So I got razzed by him my whole life, or about looking like him my whole life. We were the same age. Is that a fabulous that, mullet you? that you were sporting? That was a mullet, yes. Wow, um, that so was full. Here's how nice he was, though. Here's how nice Peter was. He knew that I had been harassed my whole life for being looking like the Christmas story bully. And so he, he let me take this picture with me getting beat up by him <laughs> as if I am the Christmas story bully. There I am smiling. So he That's was very great. gracious about that. Oh. I feel like you broke some news there too. I tried to. I really did. I tried to dig deep into into Ralphie's lore. Yeah, and the I think we got some good stuff. Investigative interview from Mike Pohl. Very good vibes down there, though. Everybody, go down and check it out. All right. Well very done. Nice. That, that very was nice. No problem. As always. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Happy nice. holidays. And you are the least thing from a bully. That's true. That I've That's ever known. That's true. true. Even in that picture I found, I'm smiling like a goof because yes. I was just excited to be <laughs> somewhere. Because you so nice. Yeah, I was not. I, was, I got bullied. I was not a bully, just yeah. so you Same. know. Same. Mm -hmm. Right? Same. And here we are today. Thanks, Mike. Take that, bullies. Three news at five coming right back. Thanks, everybody. Happy holidays.